There are not many things in life we take for granted more than hearing. Most of us don't even think about it. We just hear. And we don't appreciate just how much hearing enhances our lives. Hearing creates emotions. Bringing to life what's actually happening. Often you don't even have to see it. Much of our thinking is expressed with sound. How would you even know he was angry if you didn't hear him? Hearing connects us to each other, allowing us to communicate in ways that none of our other senses can do. Sound allows us to feel emotions or experience excitement. Imagine this without the sound. But hearing goes way beyond communicating. Hearing complements our lives, like listening to music or television, the radio, going to the cinema or theater, worshiping, getting in someone's way, or just hearing the sounds of nature. But sadly, not everyone can hear. Most people think we gradually lose our hearing as we age, but in fact, there are many ways to lose your hearing. Helen Keller became the first blind deaf person to effectively communicate with the sighted and hearing world. She became an international celebrity. Perhaps she said it best. Most people think of hearing loss as being you know, progressive, slowly progressive over time. But there's another kind of hearing loss, and that's a sudden hearing loss, where suddenly the world goes quiet in, in, in one ear. You wake up with it, or you're doing some activity, and all of a sudden, nothing in one ear. It's important that you see your doctor as soon as possible. The two reasons for that are, number one, the doctor can diagnose the condition, figure out what may have caused it. And number two, the doctor can provide treatment. Most of the treatments that we offer are much more effective if administered early than if we wait. So the, you know, the typical thing is, I got this, I'll wait and see if it goes away. Actually, for this condition, that's not the right idea. Protecting your ears is critically important, and, and believe it or not, that actually starts at home. Most individuals, when they clean their ears, they use Q-tips, and, and by putting Q-tips in your ear, you can actually do damage to the ear canal or to the eardrum. So we, tell, we advise people never to use Q-tips to clean their ears. Outside of the home, there are many things that can damage hearing. Of course, loud noise is something that we all, we all hear about. Um, and you know, people who work in construction, people who work in factories, or even individuals who are always being exposed to noise in clubs can get hearing loss from noise. Um, outside of noise, chemotherapy and certain antibiotics can, all, even if they're administered for the right reasons, can also cause hearing loss. Hearing is so much more than just sound. It's feeling the very emotions of our lives by hearing them.